Hi guys, welcome back to Ethereal Orb and to our Funky Fluid Friday where I do something small and quick and just to the point and we have fun and we make it fast. Um, this was last week's. It has um, two layers of Minwax Polycrylic. Is that close enough for you guys? Woohoo! Up close and personal. Um, so there you go, there it is varnished. It has two coats. I'll probably do another two coats, but I just wanted to show it to you all varnished. So today we are doing a three compartment um, container. I'm going to do a dirty pour, well, sort of a flip cup. It, I had to file it down because um, these were, these had like a, um, a bump on them. So I did my best to file it down. I used this thing right here and um, tried to get it as even as possible but um, maybe by the time I push it down and flip it it will be okay. My goal is, or my, my idea in my head is to twist it as I lift it so that um, it will kind of make some interesting something and hopefully we won't just get mud. Um, so that's my thought process and we will see what actually happens. So I'm going to do two colors in each compartment and I have two blues, two blues, here I'll show you the brands. I have multi-surface, this is folk art in ink spot and my, um, Mist Tint from Lowe's, that's like a robin's egg blue. I have two teals. I have um, Apple Barrel Laguna and Anita's um, Deep Green Black. It's a really pretty dark teal. And I have um, Americana Light Buttermilk. And then this is where I might have dug myself a hole. Put the nail in my coffin. Whatever um, analogy you want to use. Because I have some pure gold mix to go with this. Now all my other colors I put together so that if they kind of mixed and bled together as I lifted that they would blend well and just create some nice um, colors. That's why I did the blue and the teal and kind of that white because I know if they blend that they will blend well. And my first thought was to add yellow to that um, because yellow with the blues and the teals would just make a pretty color. But when I put all of them together, the yellow stood out just too much. It just, it does not fit. So um, I thought, well, I could do some gold. That would look really pretty running through there. But if the gold bleeds into it or it bleeds into the gold I think I might get some mud um, because it'll just turn to an ugly brown especially since I'm using a little canvas and three compartments but we're gonna this is funky fluid Friday so we are just gonna go for it and see what we get and if I have to pour another pour on top of this well then so be it so I have extra of the um, blue because um, I I don't know how it's gonna work with this and if I if it ends up looking really cool um, I might not want to tilt it I don't have silicone in anything it's just paint and water Ooh, but I did want to do I'm gonna try something different not to get anything but I'm going to spray my silicone in here and then wipe it out kinda like you would a baking dish here, I'm going to spray it over here, though. Um, before you, you know, bake or... Actually, I spray nonstick spray, like in a measuring cup, if I'm going to measure honey or agave or anything like that, so that um, nothing sticks. So my thought is not to get silicone in the paint, although I'm sure there will be, but to make sure all the paint comes out really well so that I can just clean this off, hopefully, with a paper towel real quick. And um, so I can use it again if I like what it does. 
That was my thought, and then all the paint should just come right out really easily. But like I said, I don't want a bunch of silicone left in there. Okay, so, like I said, I have the blue left, the light blue, plenty of that so I can pour around the pour if I like it and don't want to tilt. Or if I tilt and don't want to get, you know, because usually the corners are the last. In fact, let's just do the corners now. Because, even if I want to tilt, those are always the hardest to get. So let's just... Get that over the out of way, out of the way. And as always, guys, leave comments if there's something you want to see. I'm keeping notes and um, a list of things that people have requested and suggested. Suggested. So if you have any suggestions, something you want to see, a technique, some color combinations, um, you know, whatever, whatever it is that you want to see, let me know, and we'll take care of it here on these funky fluid Fridays when we try things out. So here we go. Okay, let's do our teals. Probably have way too much paint. I measured it according to art resin, but the last time I did that with one of these, um, I didn't have enough. So I have like probably two and a half to three times more than what they said I needed so and that's not necessarily good either because you can get mud that way because if there's too much paint on the canvas and you leave it sometimes when it dries it all melds together I'm not hoping for that but we shall see okay now the blues this ink spot is really a rich, rich blue. So on the red side of um, the blues, just barely, but it is. Oops. Okay. And then I'm just, since I have so much of this mixed and I don't know, I'm just going to probably take it up. So not quite where the teal is because this is house paint and from what I've heard house paint can really take over uh, I haven't used a ton of it so I don't know now oh did I show you this one I don't remember if I did sorry you're getting to see it again so that's the and then the pure gold I don't remember showing you guys those two light buttermilk is what this is called And just probably not gonna use all this gold. So I don't want it to ruin the whole thing. Mm, there we go. Okay. So let's see what we get. I'm gonna move my paint out of the way so that if it goes off the canvas, it'll get all over my paint bottles. Not that it matters, but okay. Ready? Okay, that did work. Pushing it down helped that seal. So now I'm gonna. Okay, it did not. I, there's still some in there. I was hoping the silicone would really. Okay, and they didn't. So I'm gonna kind of swirl this in kind of a. Try and get some. Not much of that gold did show up at all. I think I like underdid the gold on that one. So afraid of it. And that ink spot, gorgeous. I love that colors. I am completely out of gloves. If you watch my other videos, you see I, I wear gloves a lot. I am completely out of gloves. Okay, so. Got good coverage on those sides. Let's see these sides. I might go in with a little drizzle of gold since it's all disappeared. And look, my teals did mix 
quite a bit. Let's look at this a little closer and see. Maybe I'll torch and see what happens because you see there's very little in the light blue. It's showing underneath. And oh, there we have nice definition between the teals. I'll give you guys close-ups. I know you can't see very well. Um, but this is really cool right there. I am going to blow the corners out a little bit with a straw because we have that definition of the corners. Or let's actually, I'm not totally in love with the composition, so let's just tilt. If I was in love with the composition, oh no, it's not going to do that. It's not going into the corners. Um, but like I was saying, if I was in love with the compos composition, I wouldn't tilt. Since I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, ooh, I don't want to lose all my buttermilk. You like that color. Let's go back this way. Okay. Now that I'm a little more happy with. So let me, where's my straw? Okay. Ooh, that looked neat. Here we go. Okay. Hit that with a straw a little bit right there. Okay. I think. That is good. I am actually really happy with that. It's not, well, I didn't know what to expect, so I can't say it's not what I expected, because I don't know what I was expecting. Let's torch a little bit. Probably not much. I really like the way this looks. I'm going to stay out of this area completely, because I love that you can just see the blue. It's almost marbling. I'll give you a close-up here in a second, but I think I might torch over here. A little bit. Like I said, guys, this is just paint and water. Uh, a little bit right there. I don't want too much. Okay, I think that's that's good. I'm not going to do any more. Okay. So I'm good. I'm going to call that done and actually a success, which makes me really happy because I did not know. And I thought about going in with the gold a little bit, but I do not think it needs it. So let me know what you guys think. Comment, thumbs up, and oh, look at that. <laughs> thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see some more videos. Um, and the bell, um, click the bell if you want to be notified when I post all my videos, including my Funky Fluid Fridays. And we will see you next time, guys. Happy pouring!